Hey, what's up everyone? This is Nick at barbend.com. Today, I'm gonna to be trying out the plant-powered protein shake from Upwild. So Upwild is a Brooklyn-based company that's pretty new on the market. It's run by a brother and sister duo, and the idea behind these is that it is a plant-based protein shake for athletes. So the idea is it's going to help you perform and endure and recover. So to that end, it contains like some lactic acid as well, as along with like some probiotic bacteria too, which I thought was a nice touch. And they all have a pretty decent amount of protein and fat and carbohydrates. So I'm excited to try them out. They've got four different flavors on the market right now. These two, I've got Mocha Melt and Sunshine Swell. So let's see how they taste. Mm. All right, so. The main flavors in Sunshine Swell are orange and coconut and turmeric. Actually, all of the Upwild shakes are coconut milk based. So this with the coconut and orange and turmeric, I gotta say it is a little bit reminiscent of a curry, but it is really tasty. The orange obviously sweetens it quite a bit. So it is an unusual flavor, but it's definitely, it's quite refreshing, I'm a big fan. This is good, I think this is gonna be a very crowd-pleasing flavor. This is Mocha Melt, so the flavors in this one is coffee and cacao and coconut. So it's obviously a very rich, kind of decadent sort of flavor, chocolate and coffee, a lot of people really like that. So it's a more traditional flavor than the orange and turmeric based drink I just had over here. It's really nice, uh, it's not particularly sweet, so don't go looking for like, like a very sweet coffee drink. Nonetheless, it's a pretty pleasant way to get your caffeine. So as far as nutrition goes, there are four flavors. The other two are a strawberry one and a blueberry one, which I've tried as well, and they're very tasty. All of the calories, uh, they go between 250 calories and 310 calories. Roughly speaking, you're looking at 14 grams of fat, 30 grams of carbohydrates with two grams of fiber, and 16 grams of protein. It's, it's relatively consistent across the board over, the, over those four different flavors. As far as the micronutrients go, they're also, again, relatively consistent. There's a little bit of variation, but by and large, you're looking at about, like say, 4% of your daily intake of calcium, about 8% of your potassium, and 10% of your iron in all of these. So that's like, that's pretty okay micronutrients. I was especially happy with the iron content because for a plant-based product, it can be a little bit tricky to get your iron on plant based foods alone sometimes but I would have liked a bit more information on the nutrition for instance this one here has a ton of orange the others have a ton of berries but there's no information about say how much vitamin C it has so I would have liked a bit more information on the nutrition panel now regarding the ingredients obviously there is quite a lot of variation between the four flavors but they do have quite a lot of similarities as well they all contain plenty of coconut milk in fact it's the second ingredient in the coffee one and it's the first ingredient in the other three flavors so yeah if you don't like coconut flavoring you're not going to be super happy personally i'm a big fan of coconut though besides that they all contain Jerusalem artichoke inulin. Inulin is a prebiotic fiber. And what that does is it acts as food for bacteria living in your digestive tract, so it may have some digestive health benefits. And while I'm on that notion, there's also a billion uh, probiotic bacteria in each bottle as well. So that may also confer additional digestive health benefits. A lot of people are gonna be happy about that. There's also some lactic acid in all of these. Lactic acid may help to improve time to exhaustion and some other elements of your athleticism. There aren't a ton of studies, but there are quite a few promising studies out there nonetheless. So that's interesting and that definitely adds to the whole idea that this helps you endure and perform which is like a big selling point for the product they all get uh, sweetened with organic date paste there's no artificial ingredients though and then finally all of them contain 16 grams of protein which comes from a blend of pea protein and sunflower protein so regarding the price one bottle is five dollars and 99 cents and you have to get a minimum of six in order to get it delivered to your place now there is no reducing that price it's 5.99 for one bottle for six bottles for 12 bottles for 18 bottles it doesn't matter how many you get you're gonna be paying 5.99 per bottle however you don't get charged for shipping so you may see that as a bonus so there were a lot of things that I liked about the shakes from Upwild. Number one, I really like that it is a good source of not just carbohydrates, but also protein and fat. I'm a big fan of that. A lot of uh, vegan products that I've tried personally, they tend to be a little bit low in fat, but this is a really good amount of calories. I was a big fan of that. It's all natural, so there's no artificial sweeteners or anything like that. It's also got this big emphasis on digestive health, which I'm a big fan of, a billion probiotic bacteria and some inulin. I like that. The lactic acid may also confer some benefits on your athleticism, potentially. I thought that was pretty cool as well. 
The main things you might not be quite so crazy about with Upwild shakes, number one, it is $5.99 per shake. Now that's honestly, if you're walking around Brooklyn, New York, you go into a coffee shop, you see a product like this, an all natural plant-based product with protein and fat, $5.99 is actually like a pretty normal price that you would pay for that, but I think for most people, especially people outside of New York, they might find that a little bit pricey for a product like this. Another thing that's worth mentioning, uh, all of the drinks are pretty heavy on coconut. You couldn't taste it a lot in the coffee one, but all the other ones, it's a very strong base of coconut milk. Now, I really like coconut milk, so that didn't bother me, but if you don't like coconut milk, you just don't have any other options. So there's not a lot of diversity in that regard across the flavors, although the flavors do taste pretty different. Finally, the main complaint that I had with this product, there's not a lot of nutrition information. I mean, I know how much calcium, potassium, and iron there is in this. I have an idea of how much vitamin D is in this. There's none, that's on the label. But there's no information in any of these about the vitamin C or other vitamins and minerals. I would have really liked to know that just because it would have helped me a better plan out my nutrient intake throughout the day. So I think, yeah, the info was a little bit lacking on the nutrition label. All right, those are my thoughts on the plant-powered protein shakes from Upwild. For the four of you, just Google Barben plus Upwild.